I am bringing two and a half cups of milk to a boil. You can use the milk of your choice. As the milk is boiling, I am sifting, because I love strong cocoa, I am sifting about, I guess it was about half a cup of uh, cocoa into the pot. Now you want to kind of whisk the powder into the milk. And you can taste it along the way to make sure that it's as strong, you know, cocoa as you like. It can be as weak as you like or as strong as you like. And also, at some point, you can add an adult beverage once you have all your cocoa in just to, you know, give it an extra kick for the holidays. For sweetener, I go ahead and add some low-calorie uh sugar-free uh, keto maple syrup. These are the two ingredients that I used. Also I used um, some whole milk but you can use any type of milk that you desire and also I used um, just a little bit of coconut oil and even though I don't have a whisk guess what all of the, I guess, chocolate dissolved into the milk just with, you know, continuous stirring. And that's how it goes. And you can taste test it, like I said, and see if you have enough cocoa, or enough milk, or whatever else you want to add in here at this time. I needed just a little bit more cocoa, so I added some. And I'm going to repeat the process so that it uh, completely dissolves as the milk is brought to a boil. And there we have it, a nice cup of homemade hot chocolate.